The beauty of the Bahamas lures millions of visitors every year. But it was a visitor in 1492 that changed the course of history for the islands. It was here that Christopher Columbus made his first stop in the Western Hemisphere. In a journal, he described some of the wonders he discovered when he came ashore. It has large and very green trees, and great lagoons around which these trees stand in marvelous groves. Here and throughout the island, the trees and plants are as green as in Andalusia in April. The singing of small birds is so sweet that no one could ever wish to leave this place. Journal of Christopher Columbus. Columbus was the first visitor to record, and he described trees that would be six feet in girth. He talked about ebonies and valuable hardwoods. In modern measurements, he was describing trees 50 to 70 feet high. And today, you can't find such a forest. Columbus and the many mariners that followed him cut down tall trees to build and repair their ships. That began a cycle of destruction that has had a permanent impact on important forest ecosystems in the Bahamas. The forest is the library of life. If you look after the trees, you look after the birds and so forth, the forest is the home of all other wildlife and biodiversity. 